it's time to get ripped. Recently, I've created a poll and asked you guys what you would like to see. Most people wanted to see me lean out. 2600 votes in total and getting shredded series 10% body fat or less was the most popular one, 38%. Next one was the Kelly Stenning skill focused videos and tutorials. And the next one which was also quite popular was Road to Handstand. So I will try to implement various Kelly Stenning skills and talk about them in this video series. So hopefully you will learn something new and enjoy the videos. So here it is, getting shredded, episode 1, it's time to get ripped. My goal is to get to 10% body fat or lower and have best shape of my life in next summer. Good afternoon guys, this is Elvis Lefts and welcome back to another video. It's been a long while since I made a longer video and finally we are starting a new video series. I'm really excited and uh, it's time to get lean, it's time to improve myself and uh, it's been a roller coaster of things happening. I'm actually moving, also all the COVID stuff. Um, now all the gyms are closed again so we're going full calisthenics 100% and actually I already sent a weight vest up to 30 kilograms, you can load it up which is 66 pounds and that's quite a lot. You can use that weight for pretty much any exercise, for rows, pull-ups, squats, curls, literally anything. So up to 30 kilograms, that is quite a lot. So I will definitely be using that and I will definitely will be able to progressive overload with such a weight since it's quite a lot. I think that will cover me for next two years at least. And it's time to reach my weight loss goals and uh, improve my strength in general. So today's plan is to do pull day. We're gonna we're going to do all uh, the pulling movements. I'm gonna do some ring work. We're gonna work on the false grip as well, and uh, we're also gonna do some biceps, which is the standard for pulling day. And obviously, we'll work on core as well. And after the workout, I'm going to do some cardio. We're gonna run 10 kilometers. And the goal of the cardio is to have pulse about 140 to 150 beats per minute. And the time is not so important, but I will still show you what time I finished and so on. So let's get to the workout. Okay guys, so we're at the bars. We're gonna sip some pre-workout. It's pretty challenging workouts and also cardio sessions right after work so this is the day after work I had 24 hour shift so you need some push to get through the workout so we're gonna start with this all right guys it's been a while and I'm finally narrating my workout and it feels like it's been forever so I have been really focusing on YouTube shorts lately and that is because I have been moving and a lot of stuff has been happening in my life. So basically that is the reason why I haven't really made any long videos but finally we are restarting again and what I really want to, is to have a great great shape by the next summer that is the goal and uh, it's not so much about the aesthetics or something but it's about having just a goal you need to have a goal so you can stay focused so you can stay consistent and i think this is a good goal and people wanted to see this journey so definitely something that i'm looking forward to myself so i will try to show you my whole workouts and uh, let's think together and uh, let's see what uh, will you say about my workouts and how I will feel about them myself. Also, I will have a weighted vest, so I will include uh, weighted pull-ups, weighted dips, weighted push-ups and so on. So that will be definitely a great addition to my workouts. But for now we're doing full body weight 
and uh, yeah the focus is full calisthenics and uh, what I also like to mention is um, about the chalk so you will see clip right here using uh, to have increased performance in pull-ups is using a chalk I use the liquid chalk and it really helps me if I don't have it on me at the workout it can definitely decrease my performance obviously if you want to train grip it is beneficial to not using grip maybe but you can train grip separately in the workout at the end of the workout you can do one arm holds and so on so I definitely recommend using grip Three, one. Up. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. Five. Down. Six. Down. Seven. Down. Eight. Down. Nine, down, ten, down, one, up, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, All right, what you just saw was Royal Fitness based pull-ups. Those are what I actually saw from another YouTube video. I saw a guy doing pull-ups and he did it in uh, this audio base. And uh, I really thought that I could try that out as well. And it's great workout. It's also something different because you are forced to do it in a pace that you're not comfortable with, that you're not used to. Because when you're doing pull-ups when you're training, you're always doing everything as you want to. And sometimes it's good that you are forced or at least uh, you have to change things up. And this is a great way to do so. Because when an audio beeps, you just go along with it. And it really trains nicely, the pull-ups. After uh, the, the regular ones, I did hammer grip pull-ups. And um, about the false grip, I will definitely try to implement a training false grip in all my pulling workouts if I feel like my wrists will be hurting or something then I will take a rest day but um, I will really try to as you can see I can extend my arms completely and I'm really happy about that because when I started out in the false grip I couldn't even do that so it's small improvements like that which makes the big difference in the end so definitely feel like I will be able to get my ring muscle up uh, back fairly quickly at the moment I can't do it but maybe if I really focused if I had uh, fresh energy if I my workout just started and I would uh, just warm up and go right ahead for the ring muscle up I would maybe even do it but uh, it's not my priority at the moment in that sense I don't want to do one rep and then uh, my workout uh, strength and everything will be ruined for the entire workout just because I focused so much on one rep in the ring muscle up so there's no need to do that I just gonna focus on false grip at the moment and doing a lot of pulling movements and obviously rowing movements 
I'm really eager to get the West because in rows it would be great if I could add some additional weight because I can do rows fairly comfortably. I have developed enough strength to do them quite easy. I can do 12 reps and uh, the incline that I'm doing them in, or I should say decline, I'm not sure, uh, is quite, uh, I'm almost straight so to speak if you understand what i mean in this workout i did uh, rows on the rings but when i usually do them my position is fairly difficult for most people but i can still do 12 reps quite comfortably so i definitely would love to have some additional weight some additional resistance so i can elevate my rowing pulling strength if you know what i mean so that's definitely something i look forward to I think West will have a lot of uses, I will use it in pull-ups, I will use it in dips, I will use it in push-ups, I will use it in rows, basically everything, also I will use them on squats. So here you can see the rows on the rings, I did 3 sets, and I do have developed decent power as you can see, I, I go up very fast, I could maybe lower myself down a little bit slower, but you, which, when you are get hyped, when you're in that moment, when you're feeling strong and you're pulling yourself off with all that explosiveness, you kind of tend to do everything fast so you forget about, oh, I have to lower myself down a little bit slower. And uh, it seems a little bit too easy, but this is a different angle that I usually do. If you have seen my um, videos in the past, you, you know I don't usually do them in this type of way I do them differently where they are even more difficult but I would say they are still too easy so we hopefully have to wait when the package arrives hopefully in the next video I can show my West if not then in third video for sure it ha has to be here the shipment should be in arriving in two weeks or so so hopefully all the COVID related stuff will not stall the shipment I really hope so because that could I mean that really could interrupt with the shipment I think but hopefully it will not. After that we finished up with the pulling and rowing movements and then I moved on to the core and I did leg raises. Leg raises is something that is a staple for my core workouts I have been doing it for all these two years and to be fair to be completely honest my improvement in core is one of the worst in all of my exercises and in general my abs are my weak point 100% and uh, even though I can do them quite clean I would love to lower my legs down slower but I just can't I'm still too weak and I, I think the problem uh, one of the biggest problems are that my legs are quite heavy I know it sounds like an excuse but it is what it is I have quite big quads and so on and I think that definitely does interfere a little bit with the progress and these type of rows are very specific I did them just to have some rear delt engagement because we need to focus on rear delts and calisthenics as well because we get a lot of front front delt action in dips, in push-ups and everything and uh, it's really important to hit the middle of your delts and rear delts as well and this is a great way to get the rear delts worked and for the side delts I usually do raises with the resistance band where as you can see here I'm doing core with the band and uh, I use the same band for the shoulders I do the lateral raises and they hit the side delts greatly and um, yeah basically I'm using band for uh, leg raises so just to have that perfect form but also so I can do more than uh, 3 to 4 reps so I can feel a little bit more comfortable and uh, it really depends how exhausted your core are because I did some running uh, two days ago before I made this video and I still uh, my abs were a little bit sore and I definitely felt that when I did the training now so I rather use a tool and have more reps and better form instead of not using it and uh, do less reps and less quality. As you can see it's very clean 
and in this set, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the band just went away and almost hit my face, but I hope, uh, luckily, it did not. But yeah, so now you will see my full workout. Uh, a lot of people have been asking that, so finally here it is, and I will try to post full workouts. But let me know if you want to see uncut full length training sessions all the sets or you want to speed up some of the sets it depends on if you enjoy when i'm narrating my workouts or not and let me know do you like uh, maybe the workout sections to be a little bit shorter and more vlog type of sections or maybe let me know what type of uh, videos and style would you like to see more i'm really curious about that and i will try to adapt uh, of what you like to see more guys so let me know please that and yeah this is it for this workout um, so let me know what your thoughts are and let's move on with the video Okay guys, so we are done with the workout, as you can see, can't do ring muscle up yet, and I could do it before my injury, I could do one rep, uh, pretty dirty form, but still I could do it, and uh, now not so much, but I'm really happy about the false grip, I can extend my arm fully, and that's good, and pretty decent performance if we consider that I also had a break and everything that was going on in my life I definitely got a little bit out of shape but that's why these videos are for we're going back into it and now it's time for the cardio session so let's go So here is my post-workout meal. The thing in this video is that I did not include a lot of meals or diet in general, but I will try to do so in the next episode. I will try to include all my meals so you have know how my diet is going and what I've been doing. So definitely will try to improve in that regard. But the video is already 20 minutes, so yeah, if I would include all meals, it maybe would be a little bit too long. So yeah. The next day. It's raining again. And again, as you can see, there's literally no one here, as always. Nothing changes. Okay guys, so this was for this workout, as you can see. I was alone in the entire workout because of the rain. When the weather is bad, when things go hard and wrong, people just quit, but I didn't. And this is just the beginning for the video series, so hopefully you stay tuned for the next episodes. It's time to get shredded, it's time to get in great shape, and um, that is the goal for now. So thank you guys for watching this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this video? Do you have any suggestions? or ideas let me know and thank you guys for watching this video and i see you guys in the next one